gorgeous souls and welcome to day oh what day am i on day five <laughs> of vlogmas the theme of today is being intentional and so it's sunday today for me i'm dressed super casual you'll see again in just a moment and the way that i'm being intentional today is number one I slowed down to have my morning routine. So you guys have seen that already in a past vlogmas. Had a nice cup of coffee, had a slow morning, especially since we were out so late last night. I slept until 8.30, which is wild for me because I do not do that. <laughs> and then the other part of what was intentional for me today is that Sean actually went off and got groceries for us, which is fabulous. And while he did that, I actually sat down and worked for about two, almost three hours earlier today because it's, it's almost three o'clock. So I am picking this up a lot later in the afternoon. But anyway, I wanted to finish off the things that I have for Rise Through Style and a couple of other things that I knew I wanted to get done today uh, for the reasons that I already explained, just that my schedule's really busy. And so that was really intentional. I'm done all that work. It feels so good. And so I'm supporting my future self that way. And then the next piece, uh, and the reason I wanted to hop on here with you today to start off this vlog is to actually start packing for New York because I knew that I leave this week and I wanted to prep because my schedule is just, it's a little overwhelming. And I knew that this is really the only day I was gonna be able to think about how I wanted to show up, the outfits that I wanted to wear. And so rather than stressing out, and doing it last minute because I know I'm not alone with this. Many of you have probably done the same thing and then you feel overwhelmed. You don't like the outfits or things that you brought when you're away somewhere, whether it's on vacation, a business trip, what have you. And then you feel frustrated with your result. And I really want to show up as my best. And so although I don't really want to like pack right now, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I do actually want to because I want to support myself that way. So we're going to tackle the wardrobe, if you will. And I'm only in New York for like essentially two days, but it's broken up over like a three day period. So I fly in, but I won't get into New York until the afternoon. I have one full day that's there and then I leave the following morning. So again, not really, like it's tech, when you splice it all together, it's technically two days, even though I'm, I'm gone for three total, if you will. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be at a live event on Wednesday afternoon slash evening where there will be a dinner and speaking event, which I'm very excited about. And um, yeah, I just, I, I can't wait. And it's going to be with some of the other women that I had actually met when I was in Florida earlier this fall, which I'm so excited about. There will be many new women that I have not met yet, but again, community is very important to me and being around other women that can mirror back your power to you, that also want to see you thrive, rise, etc. cetera. And uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. So we're gonna have one special outfit and then the rest of the time for those afternoons, I will be taking some calls in my hotel room. So it will be just very chill work related stuff in the hotel. And then I will have a very small amount of time to also wander the city. I'm absolutely going to see the Christmas trees. <laughs> I don't know how many I'll get to see, but I do wanna see at least the Rockefeller tree and anything else that I might be able to take in, which won't be much, but I'll take what I can get because I've always wanted to go to Christmas in New York. And so although it will not be, I don't know, like the full experience, if you will, I'd love to do that with Sean or Paula or any of my girlfriends in future. I'm just happy to go. So anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna pick out my evening look first, which this is like the section of my closet where I keep all of my longer items, like dresses, dusters, etc. I was also thinking of this as a moment, just cause metallics are so like hot right now. And I love this piece. Look at this. Let's just do a show and tell. I know you guys, I think you've seen this on me before, but oh, I mean, it's spectacular. <laughs> this was a piece from Dylan Lex I bought quite a few years ago. <gasps> so good. Anyway, I was thinking of initially wearing something I wore to my mastermind that I was hosting in Toronto this past spring, which is just this very simple slip dress. I love this cream. It's uh, a midi length, not maxi. And then I had like a white cropped blazer over top, which I actually did really love that outfit. And it was something I was considering, but I think the winner, or actually I know the winner for this, is going to be this dress instead. Ah, <gasps> look. Look at the metallics embedded in those pleats. Do you not die? I'm so excited about this. It's been a minute since I've worn this dress and I love a good pop of color and it still felt festive because of the metallics in it. And it's got these slit sleeves and it's this beautiful A-line dress. It's absolutely stunning. And I love the like ruching detail around the stomach, which is kind of like here, 
which is so flattering. If any of you ever feel, not that this is why I got this dress, but if you ever feel like self-conscious around your midsection, little knotted areas like this around the midriff are so flattering. And when you team that with like really soft draping fabrics that are fluid, if you will, right? Like they have a lot of movement. It's so flattering on the figure. So here we go. Piece number one. And then I think, I ordered a new pair of gold pumps because unfortunately my Pradas that I've had for, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure the initial unboxing I got with these, I did on maybe Vlogmas or on this channel. Gosh, it must be six or seven years ago now. So I love investment shoes. They can, they can last a lifetime. And you guys know, like when don't I wear these shoes? <laughs> They've gotten so much wear. Anyway, I bought a new pair of gold shoes and I don't know if they're gonna arrive on time because I haven't even gotten the shipping notification, which fine. So I was thinking as an alternative, <gasps> look how fun. I mean, have you ever seen a more me shoe in your life? I don't know if these shoes came out for Pride from Jean Vito Rossi back in the summer, but I nabbed them on sale from my Teresa and they're so beautiful. And like, of course they go with everything and how perfect are they for my wardrobe? <laughs> Which is always the vibe. I was like, oh, I absolutely need this. Anyway, I'm debating between those. And then I was thinking of this. I just love how it's got the different tones of like the peachy tangerine colors. I know this is more neon, but I do kind of love that. But I keep going back to my gold because I keep thinking they're a little bit more festive, right? For New York and for like the holiday season. Alternatively, I don't think I would go in this direction, but I do have some gold boots, which would be kind of fun. But I don't know, like the boots are just, they're, I feel like they're gonna be too casual. So I think the Pradas are gonna win, honestly. Like they're in rough shape, but from afar, they won't look like too horrible. I mean, you can definitely see some scuffing on them, but it's a sign of a well-loved shoe. So we're gonna go with the gold. And I like to put everything on the floor as I'm planning it beneath like the clothing rack, just so I know what shoes are going with what. Oh, there's chair. Hi, baby. Oh, do you love to see yourself on the camera? Yeah, you always mommy shadow. I love it. Okay, and then once I have a dress or like my first pieces of an outfit, I always love to pick out the accessories next. And so let's pick out the bag first. So if I'm going with gold shoes, dun dun dun. So I love to keep all my clutches and whatnot. And uh, I have to admit, I love a good clutch. <laughs> I have many small bags that I've collected over the years. These are things that I've collected, honestly, for like 15, 20 years. I just, I love to hold on to them. I got this one from Kimono Dragon, which actually might be kind of cute with this outfit. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I love that. The other one I was thinking, which is another oldie. I've had this one, it might even be almost, oh gosh, I don't know, 15 years old, is this Club Monaco clutch that I have. Look at the sequins on here. I love it. Part of the handle's a bit broken now, but I cannot bear to part with it. I also love that, especially because these flex actually have a little bit of silver in there. And so I love that this clutch picks up part of that, but I do feel like the texture is a bit off being that this is like a sheen smooth texture for the pleat. And obviously the texture with the sequins is a little bit rough. So I don't know that I love that completely. Okay, another one that has a lot of texture in it is this. This is actually a little bag off Amazon I found. <laughs> but I do feel like she would be cute too. And then lastly, but this has been my go-to and I feel like might end up winning anyway, quite honestly, is my Bottega clutch, which is this. And it's just got that nice like sheen and teeny bit of texture because there's texture in the pleats of this dress. Do you see what I'm saying? So like the textures match, I feel like this is gonna win. Why am I fighting this? <laughs> Christy, just pick the bag. You know that's what you're gonna pick anyway. <laughs> so what I like to do is keep the bag in its dust bag because I'm gonna pack it that way in the suitcase too with the dust bag on. And then I use the drawstring and I hang it up with the dress so I don't forget. There we are. Okay, and then in terms of accessories, I mean, I feel like in New York, you just have to go big. And I mean, quite frankly, for evening wear, I feel like it would be disappointing to go dainty, quite honestly, depending on what you're wearing, of course. I'm thinking, I've done this before, but I did love the result with this. These earrings are from Dylan Lux. I've had them for, a very long time but again i like the fact that these little sort of tassels here on the end would mimic the lines that you would see in the pleats it's 
got that little bit of glam. I'm already accenting with gold in terms of the bag and shoes, so I actually kind of feel like this would be perfect. And I could put my hair up in like a messy ponytail. Do you feel like that would be cute? This is definitely an option for me. Or, ooh, the other option is that I go with these sparkly gems. That could also be so fun. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm kind of feeling like these are gonna win. Wait, wait, right with hair up and gold bag. This does have gold on the earrings too, right? Okay, I feel like those are gonna win. <laughs> okay, I am, cause I won't pack accessories just yet. I have a little accessory bag to put everything in. So I'm just gonna put these to the side on my drawer here. And I'm gonna put these as an option as well, just in case, but I do feel good about those drop earrings. Okay, then the next part that I wanna pack for is just like flying and also just running around the city. So I checked the temperature and it will be cold, but it's actually not going to be that bad while I'm gone. And so I don't need to do super heavy sweaters because I'm going to bring, you know, a scarf, mitts, all the things. And so I think what I'm going to do is bring this cream turtleneck, which is in my spring palette. And honestly, I quite heavily rely on my neutrals while I'm in the winter time because I know for some of the lighter palettes, for those of you that follow color analysis, you know, for some palettes, it can be challenging in certain seasons to find like colors that are quote unquote darker or lighter to go with what seasonally is happening in traditional fashion anyway. And for me, by the way, don't ever hang your sweaters. I'm only doing this for the purpose of planning what I'm packing and then I will remove all of this because it will stretch your sweaters. So don't do it long-term or as a thing in your closet on a regular. But anyway, so for spring, sometimes a lot of my springs, and I used to think this too, it's like, you know, everyone's wearing dark colors in the fall. What am I supposed to wear? And so for me, I wear a lot on like my tans, my creams, etc. during winter. Not that I don't wear color, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the turtleneck. The other thing that I was thinking of is just bringing some basic denim, like some of the wide leg denim that I'm really loving right now. And um, I mean, putting that with just some basic boots, I felt like it's just an easy thing to do. So I've got a pair of just nice wide leg denim and it's got some like distressing on the way down. I really love the silhouette of it. And so I'm just gonna hang this up because I feel like with the cream turtleneck, wide leg, and then maybe just some like great like flat winter boots. This will actually be quite cute to walk around the city in. Okay, I don't have my winter boots up here, but I was thinking I might pack these sneakers just in case I don't want the winter boots on. Cause again, it's not gonna be that cold. And last time I was in New York with Paula, which I'm pretty sure she and I did a vlog for last time. I'll see if I can find it and link it for you guys. I wore sneakers like these the entire time I was in the city and I was so comfortable. <laughs> And it was also during the dead of winter and actually it happened to snow while we were there. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I wanted to maybe bring sneakers and that's probably what I'll wear in the airport too. So it won't be too bulky, which is great. Okay, so we've got a walking around the city outfit the day of the event. <laughs> Cause there is one of the girls that I'm going to meet up with and she and I are gonna roam the city together. And then we need an airport outfit, which means comfort is key. And I will have my coat as well. So I've got these navy trousers that are super cute and they're not too long so I can wear them with sneakers. So I think I'm gonna do this and then maybe my like another turtleneck or some kind of sweater that's just like comfy cozy for in the plane. I feel like that might be kind of cute. I feel like this is perfect. It's bright blue. It's a turtleneck, it's a little bit thicker and it's cropped as you can see. But I love the idea of again, like an all blue moment and then my white sneakers underneath, right? I feel like that's adorable. Okay, we're totally gonna do that. That's a great little airport outfit. And then all I'm gonna do is just one other top. And again, like something a little like sweater oriented for on the plane ride home, because I'll be coming back the following day. <laughs> and I can either wear the jeans or the trousers. It's really not a big deal. So let's go a little glitter, a little glam. We're gonna do this gold. It's a very lightweight sweater, but I find sometimes airplanes get really stuffy. And so I don't want a heavy sweater, which is also why this other light blue one, or even the cream, right? If I change my mind, will be great, like potentials for the airport. And then this one, as I mentioned as well, which will be fab. And uh, best part is all of these things interchange, which is what happens when you get your colors done. And this is also part of that module concept that I've talked about many times on my channel, which if you want to learn how to put together a capsule wardrobe, not that I have a capsule wardrobe to be clear, but to use the module concepts that I talk about and build my wardrobes and my clients' wardrobes on, this is such a game changer. But like, look how fast that was. 
sweater trousers, we've got the jeans, and this for the one day, right, with the white sneakers, and then we've got a little gold pop for the airplane, or of course, like, I can switch all that up. But two bottoms, three tops, this gives me six different outfit potential combinations that I could put together, and uh, I love that. And again, for a short trip, this is great. And I have my evening look. And then I think just for accessories, I'm gonna keep it relatively simple. Although I will say I have like a accessory, like jewelry kit that I use for travel. And I usually pack just a few extra rings in there, whatever earrings I plan on bringing in a couple of extra necklaces, just because if I change my mind, that's where I feel like I can get more variety out of my wardrobe is by changing the accessories as a result of that. And then in terms of a bag, I'm gonna bring my, Louis Vuitton pochette. I love this bag. It's so flip and durable and I don't know how, but it fits everything in here. And so I'm gonna bring this obviously on the plane and I'm gonna put it inside a knapsack just because I'm gonna have to bring my vlogging camera and a computer with me so that we can keep this moving while I'm gone. And uh, so this will fit in that knapsack for on the plane, which is great. Uh, along with like my Kindle, cause that'll come with me and uh, that's basically about it. Like any other techie stuff that I need for the plane. And then my carry-on. I don't even know that I, I'm gonna need my medium-sized case. It always depends on the shoes. That's where things get messy for me is the shoes. That's where I need end up needing extra room. Although I don't mind checking a bag. I know some people are like so against it. I'm not one of those people. But again, like I don't really have much to bring. So other than hair care products and my makeup, which again, won't be a ton. Although the bag is big. I did make a mistake in the size of the bag that I got, but this thing is indestructible. Excuse the mess of it. This is the Calpac. I think they call it a vanity case. Anyway, it's waterproof, spill proof. This thing is phenomenal for like all your vanity needs, but it is kind of, it's a chunky monkey. It's quite big. It does come in different sizes, but it does take up quite a lot of room <laughs> in a carry on case. And so that team with shoes is always where I lose space. And so again, I should have bought a smaller size, even though I hadn't initially. But look at this, all packed for New York. Oh my gosh, I feel so good that I got this done. This is the power of being intentional with your time. And this can also look like, you know, for those of you that are working a side hustle or you have a hobby or, or a goal in mind, like wanting to write a book or take a class or, or whichever, this is where you decide that instead of binging Netflix, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, watching a show that you love, but putting boundaries around it so that you can be intentional with the things that you want to do and bring to fruition in your life. This is something we talk about a lot inside of Rise Through Style. And you know, some of this mindset and energetics that we've talked about and being intentional, you know, many of the women in this membership have shared that they've gotten promotions as a result. They've gotten raises. One woman said that she up and quit her job and got something else. Someone hit a massive financial milestone for herself and her first six figures. And like so many other like magical things are happening inside of rise. It's absolutely phenomenal. But again, it's the practice because it is a practice of being intentional, ultimately choosing what you know your higher self would want and executing that in the present because you're going to love yourself for that, which is important. And it folds into all those other themes, of course, that we've talked about already. So I'm feeling really good. We've got the shoes on the bottom here, as you can see, even though they're a bit messy, a few accessories that are plucked out. I know the bags that I'm bringing. And so I don't fully need to pack it yet because my bathroom stuff, obviously I'm going to need before, so I'm gonna move this clothing rack into the hallway just so it's not in the way of my office and the interim. And then I will end up packing this this week right before I go, which is great, but I feel so good that this is done. And it's like one less thing to, to think about, right? I can take it off the list because all of us women know <laughs> we have a thousand and one tabs open in our mind. And so it's nice to just close one <laughs> knowing that it's done. I love that. Hello, beautiful souls. It is now almost five or it is five o'clock, sorry, on Sunday evening and i'm going to make dinner i've put some bacon on a baking sheet which by the way i'm new to putting the bacon in the oven for cooking instead and although i know this is not a new thing it's life-changing if any of you are like me and never did that before <laughs> less mess can do other things while it's cooking it's fantastic um but the reason i'm cooking bacon is i'm making my keto crustless quiche i'm saying mine but i found the recipe from low carb maven i will put the link to her recipe down below. Although I haven't been eating keto lately, although I know we just showed like a keto shepherd's pie the other night. This is just, it's so good. And so I've continued <laughs> eating it just because it's so delicious and it's fairly easy to make, which is nice. And so you just pop it in the oven. It's in there for about an hour and you have this absolutely fabulous meal. So I've got some other kutrama. I've got spinach, onion. I've got some organic eggs. 
And we've got some cheese, cream, and then a little bit of nutmeg, salt, and pepper, and that's it. But again, I will leave the recipe down below. So I'm gonna start making that. I'm gonna put on some Christmas music. I've got some incense going in the other room because I love the smell of it. And it's gonna be great. I'll show you guys the final result, of course. bizarre salad but it is going to be absolutely delicious so let's pop her in and see what it looks like when it comes out all right she's all cooked and look at that it is absolutely delicious you can serve it with a, like a side of caesar salad or something or just have it solo it is so so good okay my loves we've had dinner and now it is time for some tea sean and i are also settling in and watching home alone too which is perfect all right, so let's see what's in store for day five. Okay, so here we go. We are having saffron chai. I'm feeling good about the chai, not so much about the saffron. We shall see. Let's give this a brew. Fam, <laughs> look at the little char. Oh my goodness, big yawn. Big yawn, yeah. Sean's having coffee, because of course that doesn't bother him before bed. <laughs> Lucky guy. And I have my tea, which I gotta say, it smells so good. I'm very excited that that's the chai. I didn't know how to feel about the saffron, but it smells fantastic. It's a Zac Efron chai. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh. Oh, it smells so good. I'm excited too, because you guys know, last night since we got in late, I literally took what you saw, like the few sips on camera, and I had to tip out the tea, just because I didn't want it to keep me up. And now, I feel like I might live on the edge tonight and try and have this whole cup. <laughs> and then see, see what happens to me overnight. Hopefully it won't interrupt my sleep, but it smells so good, and chai is my favorite style of tea. Especially Zac Efron chai. Would you stop? <laughs> Saffron and Efron, that's where you're going with that? Zac Efron. Mm hmm. Ooh, that was hot. It's oh, but it's so good. Made from his sweat. <laughs> uh, this was very, very good. And we just heated the oven because one of the stores local to us has these fantastic chocolate croissants and they're frozen so we have to defrost and and whatnot and then you just pop them in the oven for 20 minutes and they are so good so we're gonna do that as we watch home alone not that that i don't think that's gonna focus but anyway oh well sorry we're watching the second home alone it's like tradition sean and i were just saying that like basically home alone such a great movie series for any age don't you think we were saying that it's got like enough jokes and it's good content for both adults and kids. Like it's so, it's so fun. We were asking actually my brothers last night if my nephews and nieces have seen Home Alone yet. And the older ones of course have, but the youngest ones, like obviously they're too young, but my brothers are like itching to get them to watch. <laughs> the younger ones anyway, for obviously when they're old enough to watch it. But uh, yeah, great movie series. And then we still have to watch Elf and the Santa Claus. Christmas Vacation. Yeah, there's a lot of good Christmas movies. Terminator actually. 2. Stop. 
I love It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, and The Holiday. <gasps> Although I could watch that movie all times throughout the year. Sean's so sick of it because I love it so much. Any Nancy Myers movies in my books are like, I just love them. I have to watch them multiple times. The only thing that makes it bearable is Jack Black's in it. I do actually like him in that. I'm not normally a Jack Black fan, but I loved him in that. And I also love Jude Law in that one. But yeah, it's a good movie. That one and Something's Gotta Give, those are my two favorite Nancy Meyer movies, but all of hers are, are very, very good. Anyway, we are going to hunker down with our Christmas evening with the tree lit up as we watch and we're snuggled in blankets with our little fur babe in the middle. So thank you for joining us on today's vlog. <laughs> this is a big yawn for you too. <laughs> anyway, and sorry, we will see you tomorrow.